and welcome back. Today we're going to talk about mutually exclusive events. Okay, so your first question is, well, what's a mutually exclusive event? Um, mutually exclusive events, just kind of like the name implies, is that they are exclusive from, from one another. Okay, basically either one of them can happen or the other one can happen, but they can't happen together. Okay, so basically, uh, well, actually, when we go over a couple of these examples down here, we'll get a better idea of what we mean by exclusive, uh, exclusive uh, events. Okay, so mutually exclusive events is the probability of two events occurring is the sum of their individual probabilities. Okay, so for two mutually exclusive events A and B, the probability of one or the other happening. This little symbol right here, for your guys' purposes, just really means or. Okay. Event A or event B happening is equal to, again, their individual probabilities just added together as long as they are exclusive from one another, okay? Which means, again, either one of them can happen or the other, but not both, okay? So, again, so here's a couple of examples. When a number cube is rolled, so, again, when you roll a number cube, you get the numbers 1 through 6, something like that. We want to find the probability of getting a number that is greater than 4, so kind of what we're looking for is the probability of getting a number greater than 4, which on a number cube, that's either a 5 or a 6, okay, using this little symbol for the or word here, okay. So either a 5 or a 6 is what I'm looking for, okay. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take, since these are in, or excuse me, since these are mutually exclusive events, when you roll a number cube, you can either get a 5 or you can get a 6. You can't get both. Okay, so that's why they are exclusive from one another. Again, getting a better understanding of what that means by exclusive events. So this is going to be simply just the probability of getting a 5 plus the probability of getting a 6. Okay, just to kind of take them two, separate them apart. Okay, so the probability of rolling a 5 with a number cube is 1 out of 6. The probability of rolling a 6 on a number cube is the same, 1 out of 6. Okay, so with those two probabilities, now you add those together and you get 2 out of 6, which reduces to 1 third. So 1 out of every 3 tosses of a number cube is going to be a number greater than 3. Uh, as, and again, we can see that it's going to be a 4, or excuse me, a 5 or a 6 is what we're looking for. Numbers greater than 4. Okay, and from that uh, second example, okay, when a card is drawn from a deck of 52 cards. So what we're talking about here is your standard playing cards, uh, your, your, your decks of black and red colors with your diamonds and your hearts and your clubs and your spades and that kind of stuff. Thir there's four suits, 13 of each card in every suit, your aces, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, and your jack, queen, and kings, those type of cards. Anyway, those type of basic playing cards. Okay? So what we're supposed to do is find the probability of a king or a queen. So basically what we're looking for is trying to find the probability that basically I get a face card, not, not jacks, so we're not including jacks in here. So basically just a king or a queen, the kind of higher of the two cards, uh, unless you're talking about ace high, which is not relevant to the problem. Okay, so, so I'm looking for the probability of a king or a queen. Now again, these are exclusive from one another because when I draw a card from the deck, I cannot get a king and a queen. Th that just doesn't happen. Okay, I can either get a king or a queen. That's it. Those are my only two choices. Okay, I can't get both of them together from one draw. That just doesn't make any sense. Okay, so what this is going to be is, now I don't really have to change anything up, this is going to be the probability of getting a king, okay, plus the probability of getting a queen. So basically, there are four kings in a deck, one for each suit, so that's four out of 52, plus, same thing for a queen, there are four queens in a deck, one for each suit, okay, so that's four out of 52, and you simply just add those probabilities together to get eight out of 52, um, do a little bit of reducing, this would be four over 26, which reduces down to two over 13, two over 13 is the probability of drawing a king or a queen. Remember, this little symbol over here means or. Okay, So a little bit different from your uh, independent and dependent events, which I've done, done in a previous video, where it was a lot of and for these. What's the probability of this and that happening? So this is using this or word here. Anyway, 
And those are a couple of examples of mutually exclusive events. Again, that exclusive means that these events are, are exclusive from one another. They can't both happen at the same time. Okay, From either, for example, rolling one number cube or drawing one card from a standard deck of cards. Anyway, so that is mutually exclusive events. Thank you so much for watching. Do appreciate it. And uh, we'll see you next time.